Hey everyone, Captain here. So finally made it aboard La Belle V and if you've never seen a boat that's going through a commissioning process I thought I'd uh, just put together a quick video and show you what it actually looks like because it is a bit of a mess but that's understandable. They're doing work and so just want to give you an idea what it looks like so here we go. Here's the master stateroom. You can see they're doing some work. There's the through holes coming through right there with the air conditioning pump as well as the drain. Well, master stateroom desk. I actually had to pull down some trim work up here because these Fountain Joe doors uh, right here tend to always have a little bit of a problem and so they had to uh, figure out how to fix that. So there's the master head. It's all put back together a little while ago. That was open. That's where the waste tank for the master head sits. Here's the master uh, shower and everything like that. And it is just crammed full of cushions right now. So you really can't do a whole lot in there. And let's walk through back up into the cabin. You can see we got everything pulled apart here. It was good to see because I um, didn't realize this was actually where some of the electrical fusing and connections were. Nice to know that that's down there. And then with the upgraded sound system, your subwoofer gets put in there. You may have to move that at some later point to try and reclaim some storage space. And then our wiring down here, obviously. Um, quite a bit. Have to go through all that and see exactly what we're dealing with down there. Um, I was happy to see that on the side of the NAM station there was already a 12 volt DC USB as well as an AC to USB. We got our fusion radio, a tank sensors, the garment ch secondary chart plotter. And here you see where some of the real brains of this system is. There's the Garmin, some of the repeaters down there. Uh, there's the 110 volt panel and then additional wiring and connections down there. So quite a bit to, to understand and learn down there. So back out here a little bit. Obviously you can see they do a really good job of taping everything off to try and keep it from getting scratched, make sure everything stays in good condition. I got a few wires out on the stove and everything right now. So we'll walk down into the port side here. Apologize that there's some darkness going on, but you got the port side head. We opted for the single head on here so you get a nice stand up shower right there and didn't have to have uh, people sitting on the toilet to shower. Once again, we had our 110 volt panel put in on the uh, port side here going into the forward stateroom. You can see they have this all torn apart. Got to figure out exactly what's under those. That's where the drawer goes and then access into the four peak bilge. So I'm going to come around here now, go back into the aft stateroom. I really like the fact that this mirrors pretty much the starboard master stateroom. You got some water sitting in the bilge down there, one of the through holes. Just got done working on all the AC stuff, so you see that sitting there. There's a good view of the starboard, I'm sorry, the uh, port diesel tank and the connections for that. So, and over here, you just see some additional wastewater going out and some more wiring through ways and everything like that. So, just a second, we'll take you outside. In this scene, you can see the uh, port engine room. That's the generator. There's a saltwater strainer, a galvanonic isolator right there on the forward bulkhead. And just some other miscellaneous things while they're working on the engine. So we'll walk up the uh, port side here. Like I said, this boat's in commissioning, so as you can see, things are a little dirty, but that's the way it's supposed to be when people are working on it. Got the spare jib halyard there, the upgraded furler. Uh, I got my bats sitting over there yet. They still haven't put those into the 
mainsail. We did go with the upgraded Manta um, anchor, which hasn't been put on yet, so that's another piece we need to get done. Problem solved. So here again, you got a lot of space down in the uh, anchor locker. we we'll be able to put our uh, bumpers and everything down in here and our lines. You can see there's some panels down in here. I have to figure out exactly what those are. There's the freshwater tank valve. Here's actually over here where the uh, propane tank is going to be. Still need to get those. And we got two fiberglass tanks that we're going to be putting in. We've got the wa uh, deck wash down system here. Our windlass obviously is right there. And uh, we went ahead and got 200 foot of chain here. Just like I said, need to change that delta out. And we'll put that on a rope road and um, use it as our secondary. Four peaks um, storage. Not a lot of storage in here, obviously. It's a little bit smaller boat, but uh, looks like we'll have plenty. I'll actually put some starboard on the walls down there and uh, make some hooks and hangers so we can hang lines and other things and keep it fairly well organized. So we got our battens there. I like the fact that all the lines run back. It's looking good on the sail pack. So back here to the helm station. We just put the canopy on the helm station. Got the whole Garmin set up with the AIS transceiver receiver. Um, so that's pretty much it. The one thing I got to do out here is actually put a USB plug in for uh, noise for the iPad and everything. So when I mount the iPad up here, we have the ability to plug it in right here, view it and the chart plot right there and make things a little bit easier. Hey everyone, Captain here. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, where I did the walkthrough on La Belle V and they were doing the commissioning of the boat. Now you get to see what it looks like when it's all torn apart. Be sure to click like and subscribe and look forward to more videos coming out soon. Thank you.